Welcome to games that I am personally looking forward to in 2023. We have a new year. I am a bit late on my upcoming games for 2023, but I did make a list. And let's just start off with Atelier Risa 3, which is by far the game that I'm the most looking forward to personally right now. As you guys may know, if you know me, I love the Atelier Risa games, and this is the third one in the trilogy. I am so ready ready for this game, but it was announced that they need one more month to polish the game, which is totally fine with me. I love when developers are just admitting <laughs> to themselves and to everyone's uh, enjoyment that they need more time with the game because we know now what that means. It means that the game will be preferably less broken at launch and the freaking day one patches and all of that, we are so done with that. And so they have pushed it back one month, it's coming out now soon-ish, I mean you can play something else while you're waiting, I mean I guess you are. But Atelier Rise of 3, by far, there is one other game also, I gotta say, that is also like, oh my god, this year. But Atelier I saw 3, so ready for it. Oh my god, I'm excited. And I know a lot of you guys are also excited. I made a review of Atelier I saw 1 and 2, and I've talked about these games so much on this channel. It's almost ridiculous at this point. So the hype is real. It is pushed back a month, which I am so fine with. Take your time with your games, everyone. Now the next game actually out already, because I'm so slow at making this video. Fire Emblem Engage, which is a new Fire Emblem game, the tactical strategy games that I just love. Now I've been watching a lot of Player Essence and his live streams recently, and we are so hyped for this game. It's gonna be so good. I hope it's gonna be good, you know. <laughs> Often I say that it's gonna be good, but I have been burnt before. But I hope that this one is gonna be good because I loved Three Houses, also did a review of that. And this is Fire Emblem with Fire Emblem characters from the past entering the battlefield, sort of. And Fire Emblem games, they are like, if you know what you're getting into, if you love this type of gameplay, it is solid. And Fire Emblem is just the best tactical grid-based RPG series that I know of. I haven't gotten my copy yet, but I will pretty soon. <laughs> And I'm looking forward to that. And guys, another game that has come out now in 2023. This video is sponsored by ID Factory. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. ID Factory, the people behind the Neptunia series, they have a brand new game now. And it is called Neptunia Sisters vs. Sisters. It is a game that I'm currently playing upstairs. It is out for the PS4, PS5 and Steam. And I have been, to put it lightly, very obsessed with the Neptunia series. I mean, look around my channel and that is the series that I've talked about several times. Now the story this time around it is about the handhelds versus the smartphones. Now the Neptunia series is so known for breaking the fourth wall. Having characters that represent companies, gaming consoles and developer studios. So many references to real life stuff and I get such a kick out of that. Now this time the CPU candidates which is the Nintendo DS, the PlayStation Portable and the Game Gear. They wake up after a two years long sleep to see the game industry, which is the world, it has radically changed. Now the shares of the land is dominated by our phones, which is threatening the gaming handheld market. Now we have new characters. This character, it is based on smartphones. This character is based on Apple and Android. The story is just so funny. And they're all like talking about how addicting social media apps are and how that is a affecting the game industry world. You have stuff like the Chirper, which is Twitter, Neotube, which is YouTube, and they talk a lot about live streaming, streamers, influencers, and there's a lot of internet and chat language. A lot of lols and WTFs. I mean, this game is hilarious in the story. Now the gameplay is a dungeon crawler RPG where you can take control of three characters and switch between them at any time. When you touch an enemy, you enter a combat area where you can move freely around and this time around you do combos in an action combat style. I am loving the graphics and the character models this time around. I just enjoy it, you know. As a long time fan, I'm just happy to see these 
friends of mine again. And you know what? I know that a lot of people have not played a Neptunia game. This is a good entry point also. You also have Neptunia Reverse released for the PlayStation 5 last year, which is also a really good starting point. But you can definitely jump into this game if you are up for some fun dialogue, some fun grinding. I mean, I'm playing this game like crazy right now. I am trophy hunting in this game like crazy also. So Neptunia Sisters versus Sisters, pretty good stuff. Check out my link down below for all the details that you need to know to purchase the game. Thank you ID Factory for, wow, <laughs> sponsoring this video. I was gonna cover this game anyway, and you know I would. Now this game, I recommend it. Now here is the other title that is like Atelier Risa 3 sort of hype level for me. Maybe actually more, but I'm trying to hold myself back, you see. This series is my favorite series next to the Elder Scrolls series. I'm talking about The Legend of Zelda. Every time a new Zelda game drops, it's like a holy, spiritual, religious sort of feeling for me. I have Zelda tattoos. It was my childhood. Zelda has always been my obsession and this time we're getting a sequel to Breath of the Wild which is called Tears of the Kingdom. I cannot wait for this game. I mean I'm just gonna say it. Take your time with this game also. I don't mind big games like this being pushed back. Maybe that is why we are still waiting for the next Elder Scrolls. So they are just taking their time. I hope so. But we have a hard release date for Tears of the Kingdom and that is May the 12th. The 12th. The it will be a day unlike most days. I am speechless. I am so looking forward to it. It's almost funny. Now this year we are getting Tales of Symphonia Remastered coming out February the 17th. And I have played this game already, but I don't think I finished it back in the day. So this time I have a new opportunity to actually do it. Now, Tales of Symphonia has been praised as one of the stronger Tales of games in most communities and forums online, and it is up there. I think personally though, still my favorite Tales of games are the Exilians. But looking forward to this one, I'm giving you a heads up, this one is coming pretty soon. Something else that is also coming pretty soon is a new Kirby game again. There's <laughs> so many Kirby games, but we don't mind, I guess. This time it is Return to Dreamland Deluxe coming February the 24th. I'm always up for a tiny bit of Kirby when I want to scratch that sort of itch. I'm not obsessed with Kirby, but I do like Kirby. And I'm very picky with my side-scrolling platformers, and Kirby is just hitting the mark for me. I will be getting that, and I will tell you my first impression when that time comes around. <laughs> the next game I want to mention that is coming for the Nintendo Switch in 2023. It is Rune Factory 3 Special. Now hold up, this is probably a game that is not for everyone. This is a remake of a Nintendo DS title, and you can kind of see that in the graphics. I don't know how they did this uh, remaster, but I remember when they did Rune Factory 4, ported over to the Switch, which was originally a 3DS game. There was something weird with the graphics. They tried to stretch the pixels and stuff, and I was not a fan of the graphical style. Unfortunately though, from what I have seen from Rune Factory 3 Special, it sort of looks like they are doing the same technique, bringing this game over, stretching pixels and stuff. I'm not a fan of those graphics, but I am a big Rune Factory fan. Hands down, I mean, hello, have you met me? So that one is gonna be a game for me and some of you people, definitely. Look out for that. Now, as you can see already, this is a highly personal list. It's a lot of life simulators and, you know, each a gaming kind of games. So I will also mention Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life, which is actually being completely remade. They're not using old assets, I don't think. Now this game looks pretty good. I've talked about this before. I played it a ton on my GameCube. I have nostalgia for this town and the people. So that is going to be triggered so much when I'm playing this game. I can imagine coming out summer this year. And I will be playing that and I will be talking about it here 
here on my channel so I mean you should subscribe and I will be here right here for you talking about all of these games when they are coming out and I hope you wanna see that so those were the games that I'm the most looking forward to but I have some honorable mentions <laughs> I have written in my notes that I'm looking forward to Fae Farm which is saying that it is coming out in spring this year Fae Farm, Farming Simulator, Cozy I think it looks interesting and you will probably also think that it looks interesting if you like life simulators like I do I will be talking more about that when I have played it a tiny bit definitely I mean just stick around on this channel and you will get it all I have also written down Rain Code the second quarter of 2023 which is a very cute graphical style game sort of thing which is a mystery game sort of like a detective story I like the graphics so I'm sold already sort of thing now that old game it's it's old but it's not even out yet my time at Sandrock I've talked about that for what two years now on my channel and still not properly out it is being released May the 26th this year. Now I also have some PlayStation 5 games that I am hyped about and some that I am not very hyped about but we will see. People keep asking me are you gonna play Hogwarts Legacy? Yeah, yeah and I will maybe give a first impression when I have a first impression of that game. I'm not hyped, I'm nothing, I feel nothing but I know I will play it so we will see. Starfield when is that even coming out? Don't know, but I know that I will play it confirmed. I'm confirming that to you right now. I will play that also. Forspoken, it is out and it is in my plans to play it. I haven't bought it yet. There's so many games, you know. And we have Diablo 4, which is June the 6th, my birthday. <laughs> Pretty good. I loved Diablo 3, so this one. Hope it's gonna be just as good. And lastly, guys, I have a super weird game that I wanna show you. I really wanna show you guys this game. And it is called Blue Protocol. Confirmed for PC. I don't have a date. 2023, it says. But it looks so good. It kinda reminds me of Genshin Impact. Have you guys seen this game? What are your thoughts on this game? I think it looks pretty interesting to me at least. So that is why, I mean, since we have the same taste in games, you and I, maybe you will find this game also interesting, uh, like I did when I saw the trailer. <laughs> it is definitely worth mentioning. So, those were the games that I'm looking forward to to the Nintendo Switch. I wanna know yours. Leave them down below. Hit like on my video and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and taking your time to come by Isha Gaming and see what I have to say about things, basically. I'll see you later.